Well, summer starts in less than two weeks. We hope that means plenty of sun and warm temperatures, but that can also mean some potential health risks if you are not careful. We are joined now by Dr. Joseph Chow with some ways to make sure that you are healthy and safe this summer. Dr. Chow, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So, of course, the number one uh, concern on parents' minds, let's talk about sun and sunburns. I mean, we know sunscreen, of course, is important, but talk to me a little bit about how often, what kinds of sunscreen we should apply. It's, it's really frequent, and absolutely, with the sun, people are out now. Uh, when the sun is out, people know to put the sunscreens on, and you want to get a sunscreen that has, at the very least, SPF 15, ideally above 30. Okay. But what we often forget is when the sun is not out. On cloudy days, you can get sunburn also. Uh, you probably see many times people coming in with red faces and red shoulders, but it was cloudy the day before. You can absolutely still get a sunburn even when the sun is not out. Okay, so when it's cloudy, definitely apply the sunscreen. And does it matter? You said SPF 30, but there's so many choices out there. I feel like there's store confusion. You know, there's SPF 50. You can even go up to SPF 70 for your face these days. Right. It, it really gives you the, an idea of the level of protection that you can get. Okay. The really key is to, to apply it and apply it relatively frequently. Uh, the sunscreens will only last two to three hours, so if you are out and about, you should frequently reapply. If you go out for a swim, you should reapply after you swim also. Also, everybody forgets to do that. After you get That's out of right. the water, you have to reapply. That's right. Something else I want to talk to you about, um, allergies. We have, yes. I've heard from a lot of people that this has been a particularly bad season for allergies, spring heading into summer. Right, right. And allergies is uh, always there, uh, pretty much seasonally. We're going out of the more of the tree pollens into now the grass pollens. Um, so a lot of grass, a lot of mold that is out there right now. Um, this has been a very tough season. Uh, whenever we get dry days, warm days like we're getting ahead, uh, it's troublesome for a lot of folks. Yeah, absolutely. So is there any way to really keep that st uh, st stuffy nose from, from coming to you in the season or you just kind of have to deal? Yeah, there's a few things. There's prevention one, so okay. it's hard to tell people to stay home. But yeah. if you are out and about, the pollens tend to be more flourished in the morning and okay. early afternoon. So perhaps early morning or later afternoon. Uh, certainly when you get inside, uh, start washing, uh, take a shower, take a bath, wash some of the uh, pollens off. Oh, and there's idea. certainly medications, over-the-counter antihistamines and nasal sprays. Uh, any further questions, make sure you contact your doctor. Absolutely. And before we let you go, we want to talk about, this is a big one, ticks has been yes. a big talker for us here at News 4. What are the ways to make sure that we're safe as we're heading outdoors today from the ticks? Right. Uh, a lot more ticks this season. We had a very mild winter time, so we are seeing a lot more uh, tick uh, illnesses and people coming in for ticks. Uh, really, it's going to go back to prevention again. Uh, prevention meaning wearing long sleeve shirts and pants, uh, light colored uh, clothing so you can see the ticks. Uh, you want to stay away from high brush or grass, so stay in the middle of uh, pathways. Same thing, when you get home, shower, bathe, uh, do a skin exam to, to take a look to see if you find any ticks. Yeah, tick checks, I've heard those are tick very checks. important. Yes. Okay, and you're checking your animals too, I've heard that's a, a good tip too. You could check your animals also, uh, but by and large the ticks do not uh, fly or, okay. or fly off of animals, so it's really contact. Oh, that's good to hear. All right, Dr. Yep. Chow, thank you so much for taking the time of to course. give us some summer health tips this afternoon. We love having you here. Thank you.